Hi everyone, Ben with Dream Factory. In this screencast, I'll be talking about the packages feature in the Dream Factory admin console. So packages are a pretty simple concept. Packages are basically files that consist of all of the work that you've implemented in Dream Factory. And you can export packages. They are a simple file, a zip file, with some information, metadata about the zip file that the system uses to import and export. And then you can also import packages. So the, the classic scenario or use case for this is you're moving applications and schema and APIs between development, test, and production, or between, say, your local laptop and an instance of Dream Factory that's running, let's say, on a server that you're collaborating with with other developers. So what I'm going to show today quickly is just the user interface in the admin console. There are some other features uh, that you can use that directly use the API. So packages themselves also have an API that's exposed, which can automate a lot of your uh, application migration and, and your DevOps deployment between dev and test and production. So simple example today, I'm going to pick up a few, uh, I'm going to create a package file, let's say. So I have some things in the system. And when we select system, you'll see a whole bunch of different options, roles, services, by services, that means APIs, apps, users, admins email templates and events. So I'll just pick a few things. I'm gonna go ahead and grab, let's say a DB API, add that to the package. This is our address book application example. Uh, I'll go ahead and pick up, <clears throat> let's say the application, obviously I need that. So I'll pick just one of these applications. I could pick more than one, so you can move more than one application and, and APIs at a time. You can bundle them all together if you need to. In this example, I'll keep it simple, so I'll add that information and this is building up the package so you'll see the selected package content below and then the only other thing I really want to grab is we have some data so I need to get the schema uh, as well so I'm going to go ahead and pick all if I just wanted some of these tables I would just grab the ones I want and then I'll go ahead and add these to the package so we see I have a service the DB service I have an app the address book for angular JS app the files that that app consists of and then four different tables um, and then, of course, I could grab other things, like if I have roles defined, I can add those. If I have server-side scripts defined, I can add those. So basically, think of this as everything that your application requires to run, you can put in a package file and move. So next, what I'll do is I'll just do a simple export. This is going to export to the file system, so you can put in a folder name. It will create that uh, or, or save it in that particular folder. And you can also optionally put in a password, and this is used uh, to basically uh, as a, an authentication scheme for the zip file itself to add some security there. So I'll go ahead and show that with um, just a, a simple example. Uh, export this, and it shows you where the package has been exported. Here I'm on localhost running on, on a Mac, so it's putting this into my files directory um, at the root level. So I'll just go ahead and click OK there. And then when I go into files, I will see, if I click on this, I'll see this zip file that I just uh, exported here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just download this. You can kind of see what's in it. Download it to the desktop, reveal it in Finder here. And then if I click to open this, it will ask me for whatever password. If you don't put a password in, of course, it won't prompt you for this. And then I'll see some things. So I see, let me just open this real quick, package.json. So this is actually the metadata for, or the definition of everything that's in the package. It's just a JSON file. And then you can look in here and you'll see the schema. You'll see the files and you can go ahead and click on this and you can actually see the source code for this particular application. And then any other thing. So the application uh, definition, basically all of the metadata that Dream Factory needs. And this is what enables you to then import it back into another Dream Factory instance. And the way to do that is very simple. You can go into packages and then import that package, choose the file off, off the desktop, put in a password if you um, wanted to put that password in, put it in again to uh, authenticate yourself here on the zip file and then import that and that will bring it in. So that's how you do it through the user interface. Uh, there are a bunch of other features that I won't go through in detail in this video. It's easier to read about all of this. So if you go to our blog, there's uh, a blog from May 11th that Arif wrote uh, that describes a bunch of different scenarios. It talks about the details of the package file, how to export it, how to export the whole package or only the manifest and different things that you can do in terms of uh, selectively deciding what you want to export and import and doing that even programmatically uh, via the REST API. 
There are also a bunch of extensive examples on the wiki. So if you go to Dream Factory Tutorials Deployment and then Packaging at wiki.dreamfactory.com, uh, this runs through a bunch of in-depth examples of how you can use this feature and uh, set up, you know, schedule uh, package exports and imports. You can programmatically do a lot with this functionality. So it goes through the actual API and it provides a number of examples and shows you a bunch of endpoints that you can then use to, uh, to leverage the package's capability. So that's in, in a nutshell, pretty short overview of the packages feature. Uh, definitely check out our other videos on the Dream Factory YouTube channel. Check out wiki.dreamfactory.com for the documentation. And also, if you have questions, feel free to reach out at community.dreamfactory.com. Thanks.